welcome to the Quilt Block Studio. Today we are going to make a ribbon block. You are going to need two different fabrics for this one. Let's get that out of the way. I hope you have a pen handy. There's a lot of cutting for this one. In the light blue, we're going to cut four squares that are two and a half by two and a half. In the dark blue, you're going to need four squares that are again two and a half by two and a half. In the light blue, these rectangles are two and a half by four and a half, and there's four of them. And we're going to do the dark blue two and a half by four and a half. Again, there's four of those rectangles. You're going to need a square of the dark blue that is four and a half by four and a half inches square. These squares are going to be two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. You're going to cut those once on the diagonal to yield eight half square triangle or half square triangles. Yes, that's what we're after there. So let's set that on top to know that that comes from that. Next, you're going to cut two squares that are three and a quarter by three and a quarter. Then we're going to cut those twice on the diagonal. That will give you eight little triangles. That's a quarter square triangle. You're going to do the same with the dark blue. Again, this one is three and a quarter by three and a quarter. Cut it twice on the diagonal. That's going to give you eight little triangles. We're going to start with these little units here. And the placement is very, very important. So I want you to lay it out just like you see in the block. The long sides are going to be away from each other. You're going to piece a blue, a light blue to a dark blue, and you're going to create a little unit that looks like that. You're going to need eight of these. Once you've pieced those eight together, you're going to join on one of the larger light blue triangles, and you're going to piece it together like that. In total, you're going to end up with eight little units that look like this. Don't they get smaller after you stitch them together? Next thing we're going to do, let's scoot this out the way for a minute or two. We're going to take one of these and we're going to stitch it to a light blue. And we're going to take another one of these and watch the placement very carefully. We're going to place this one below that light blue square and we're going to add a dark blue square. Piece this together just like a four patch and you're going to end up with a little unit that looks like this. These are going to be your corners. Once you've made those, you're going to join together all of these little rectangles. Join them in pairs. They are going to go beside those little corners, just like that. And you're going to take another little corner and put it on this end. You're going to create two of these. One will be your bottom row, the other will be your top row. To create your middle row, you're going to need two more of these units, a blue beside a light blue, and another one for over here. Then your square is going to go in the center. So all those together in a row. Then you can join this bottom row to the middle row and you're going to take your second row just like this one and you're going to add it on the top up here. And that is going to get you a beautiful ribbon block. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.